Hello Terminators! In this tutorial we will start using Terminus DB 3.0, Terminus DB console and its query client. This is a step-by-step -step guide to create your first knowledge graph. We're assuming you already have Terminus DB installed but if you haven't go to our download center it's very easy to get started. I'm going to log in to Hub. Uh, Terminus Hub is for sharing and collaborating on databases. So, uh, in this tutorial, we're going to import data from CSVs about bike journeys between stations in Washington, D.C. Build a knowledge graph from that data, analyze and visualize it. The data is taken from the Capital Bike Share Scheme. Uh, you can find all the information on our blog and in our documentation. So, we're going to go ahead and create. Um, I'm going to uh, call the database my first database uh, and we're going to give it the ID first DB uh, as you can see it's all addressable by a URI so uh, it can't have any uh, spaces so we're going to give it a short description it is my first database using terminus DB 3.0 and okay, because we're going to be using bicycle, let's use a, um, a bicycle. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's create that on Terminus Hub so we can share it later. So there we have, we're on the DB homepage, which provides all the metadata and other information about um, the database. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is create a schema. I'm going to jump across to the um, uh, tutorial in order to extract uh, the script for that process. So we go to query and let's add a, a commit message just saying create schema. There we go, we run that schema, there, run that query and yes, now we can see that we have a, a schema in place. We can look at the properties, we can look at the graphs, we can look at the triples, and we can see what prefixes we have in place. So all very clear. We can also go back to DB Home and we can see that that was created. Okay, so next things next, we are going to uh, add some data uh, and we're going to uh, visualize it. So let's go ahead. Now this is a bit of a beast of a query um, because it sucks in um, some data from the CSV. So I'm just going to say put this in here, insert data. Okay, so if you look through here, you can see that this is wangling the data. It's uh, putting in uh, various titles, uh, various tags for the data, uh, and it's showing exactly what information it's extracting from the CSV, which is at this location. Okay, so I'm going to run that query. And there you can see it came back in half a second. It has a bunch of, a bunch of inserts. Um, and we can see the results. We can see them in table format and we can see them in graph format. And um, so if we just, um, if we just, we can see it all the way out. Perfect. So there we can see all of the, the the information that way and we can go back to home again and we can see that there was another commit into the um, into the database okay so now we're going to just run a query against that data and uh, so we can again we're just going to extract it from here and we're going to place that into the query engine and we're just looking for particular parts of the information to dealing with the start and the end of particular trips in Washington, D.C. So we will run that query. You can see that that extracts the data about the stations and which trips were taken from. We can extend the number that we see there very easily to see exactly the full data set. And we can also visualize that as a graph. So we can quite uh, easily see the totality of the information that's been provided like that. Um, so basically, there you have it. You have built a um, a uh, knowledge graph uh, of the information within that database. You can see exactly what you've done. 
you can look at the documents to see uh, what's contained in the database you can look at the schema um, and from here you can also uh, avail of the synchronization functions of uh, terminus db of course there is an easier way to do this using terminus hub if i go back to the home i can go to clone and i can see the full bike tutorial available there the terminus db bikes database which i can clone from hub and query directly that's just how easy it is with terminus db and terminus hub